you guys want to see how I achieve this look right here, just keep on watching. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe at the end. Bye. Queen. Right here, I'm going in with Ada to build up my transition color. The reason why I go further than just around my crease is because I wear glasses and I don't like to diminish the look of my eyeshadow once my glasses are on my face. So once I have Ada built up to where I want it around the crease of my eye and the outer portion of my eye, I'm going to go in with Zulu and start to build inward to transition to my primary colors. Okay, so once I have those two colors added to my eyes, I am going to go in with a dab of Fulani to even out in blend in both colors. Then I'm going to go on over to my Naked 2 palette and add blackout primarily around the outer corner of my eyes to give it a more smoky effect. If you haven't noticed, I am using the fluffy blender brush from my Naked 2 palette to apply the blackout and I am using a different fluffy blender brush to apply and blend the other shadows onto my face primarily because I do not want it to be darker at the top portion of my crease due to the residue left on the other blender brush from the blackout palette. Rather be safe than sorry. So now I'm going in with Glitter Glue by Too Faced on the inner portions of my eyelid, my primary colors. I am using a flat eyeshadow brush to dab and apply the molly to the middle portion of my eyelid. I'm only going in with a little at a time. Right here I'm using Makeup Forever Star Lip Powder in the color Iridescent Pearl to finish off my primary colors on the inside portion of my eye and then blend it in with Molly from the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette. I am using a clean blending brush to go over and blend in my primary colors with each other and also my transition colors. Ooh, love. Just like the sun. I am taking the blending brush from the Naked 2 palette with whatever is already on it. I am just adding more to give it a deeper smoky effect. I did not add more product to the blending brush. Remember, I did not add more product. I used whatever was left on the brush. The same thing for the other blending brush. I used whatever was already left. I'm using an eyeliner from Hard Candy to do my wing. But as I was editing, I noticed that I was out of focus for you guys to actually see me do the wing. So I will make sure that on another video, I am staring the camera dead in its face, figuratively speaking so that you guys can see how I create my winged eyeliner. Okay, so right here I'm using a makeup remover wipe from Garnier Fructis to get rid of any fallout from my eyeshadows and to also sharpen my winged liner just in case there are any imperfections. Yay, it is lashes time. I think I am using my Lashes by Kiss in the color Midnight. 
All right, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. I already put my eyelash adhesive by Duo onto my lash. I'm allowing that to get tacky. So I am a beginner eyelash user. As you can see, I have long eyelashes all on my own, but I do like the dramatic look that false lashes give me, especially when it comes to taking pictures. So now I do apply them to my face and I really don't think I can ever go back, but I am still getting the hang of applying these. And as you can see, yet again, I am not within the range of the camera for you guys to see how I apply my lashes. So next time I will make sure you guys can see how I put mine on. The only one I ever see with a smile so bright. Hey. I'm going in with LA Girls Orange Corrector to eliminate the dark spots under my eyes. A couple of other blemishes like the marks for my nose ring and also the mustache line around your mouth. And just yet I'm using the same cosmetic sponge that I used to blend out the concealer around my eyebrows to blend out the orange corrector. Yesterday. Came around my it's foundation time. I was going to use my beauty blender that I paid a dollar for at Dollar General because I'm cheap with my Fit Me foundation from Maybelline number 355, but I changed my mind and I went to an angled flat brush by BS Smalls. I used that to spread my foundation across my face and then I actually went back to finish blending it out with my beauty blender at the end. Um, I would have actually preferred to use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender, but I'm lazy and they were dirty and you have to make sure you're using clean products um, or else your makeup just doesn't look right. So I worked with what I had and this is it. I always put foundation on my lips to give myself a clean slate or a neutral slate rather, instead of having the pink undertones. It works well for me. I recommend it for anyone that feels as though they need to do the same. Okay, so this is LA Girls Concealer in the color Fawn. I am going to highlight under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, little section of my forehead, around my mouth, and my chin and then I am blending it out with a wet beauty blender by Real Techniques. Now I'm gonna get that really good. You don't wanna leave any lines. You want it to blend right on into your skin. It takes a while sometimes. Beauty takes a while sometimes. Change my horse and wait. With your astonishing beauty Oh, you could not make a brother sing No ordinary thing a super I actually took that same beauty blender And applied my Ben Nye banana powder To set under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, my mouth, and my forehead Normally I take a dry beauty blender But I wanted to see what it would do first now I'm going to end with my Black Radiance medium to dark palette. I'm using contour to contour my jawline and around my chin area. What this does is it minimizes the wideness in your face. And the moon. Now I'm going in with blush from my tardiest contour palette. You make my heart go ding a ling a ling. Oh, you are my African queen. The girl of my dreams. And you remind me of a thing And that is the African beauty yeah. Hey, yeah. Ooh, You are my African queen Oh, Now I'm taking 
my powder brush from Real Techniques to brush away the excess being that banana powder and make sure I am photo finish ready. Out of a million, you stand as one, they are standing one. I look into your wasn't photo finish ready yet because I still needed to go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder in medium deep. I used that all over my face, including where I highlighted that with the BNI. Went ahead and set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter. It is the best, you guys. You captivated my soul. While my setting spray is drying, I took my Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the colors Summer and Moonstone, and I went ahead and I glowed up my cheeks and my nose and my Cupid's bow, and also a little shimmer here and there on my forehead. And yes, I am obsessed, and no, I am not getting over it anytime soon. Thank you. Oh, now every day I want you more. I am applying my Falsies Mascara by Maybelline to blend in my eyelashes with my false lashes and also to darken my bottom lashes because I do love for my eyes to pop. Oh, I cannot deny this feeling I'm feeling inside. No one I cannot take your place, you cannot take your space, and it's a fact I cannot erase. And no, you are the one that makes me smile. Well, we these lips are done by Color Pops, Dr. M, and Anastasia of Beverly Hills Gilded. I love these two colors combined. What I did was I outlined my lips with Color Pops, Dr. M. And then I went over the outline to darken it. And from there, I pulled the color inward until I got to the middle of my mouth and I stopped. At that point, I added Gilded by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I also went over Dr. M with Gilded to give it a gold shimmery look. Make me float like a boat upon the night. Girl, you are my African queen. I hope you guys enjoyed how I got this look here. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like below. And as always, thanks for coming to my channel, and I'll see you next time. The girl of my dreams. You remind me of a thing, and that is the African beauty.